डियर छत्रपती शिवाजी महाराज यू आर द रीजन आई लव इंडिया हैप्पी बर्थडे व्हाट शुड आई से दैट हैज नॉट बीन सेड बिफोर आई मीन वी हैव लर्नड हिस्ट्री बट आई फील वी आर नॉट लर्निंग फ्रॉम इट टुडे आई फील लाइक आस्किंग फॉर योर हेल्प बिकॉज़ आवर कंट्री नीड्स यू यू वर बोर्न ऑन 19 फरवरी 1630 ड्यूरिंग द टाइम व्हेन इंडिया वाज इन शैकल्स द मुगल्स इन द नॉर्थ एंड द निजाम एंड आदिल शाह इन द साउथ But there was a ray of hope in the center. There is a lot to learn from your story and in the next 3 minutes I'm going to tell you four things about Chhatrapati that you should learn. Number 1. Dear Chhatrapati, you learned that slavery is a state of mind. You grew up watching your father fighting the battles for the shahs and the sultans. Your father was a great leader himself but he didn't have his own voice. He was still a slave. He was still taking orders. If life had been a little different then you would have been the same, a slave in fancy clothes. But you chose your battles our country needs you because the youth is still a slave a slave of expectations our youth is trying to be a photocopy of somebody else they are living their life from weekend to weekend and they are finding it hard to be original our youth is still struggling to find a meaning number 2 dear chhatrapati you learned that number 1 is greater than number 5 5 1 2 3 one army a real army united behind one leader with one purpose the marathas were scattered you turned them into an organized force you gave the kids around you a purpose and made an army that was united by one single objective that's why seven marathas could fight against 17000 enemies without any fear for their lives you were the ultimate underdog when you lost to rajput leader jai singh the first You signed the Treaty of Purandar and gave up 23 forts in one instance. 23 forts. I mean, I can't even imagine how it must have been to see the empire that you built crumbling in front of your eyes. But you knew that that's not the end. They could take away the forts, but not the fortress of determination that was built inside you. You ended up building more than a hundred forts from scratch, and you also built a very strong navy. Our country needs you because you knew how to stay strong in your defeat. Number 3 Dear Chhatrapati Some historians believe that you grew up hating Muslims and that's why you call your kingdom as Hindavi Swaraj Actually you had many Muslim commanders in your army Darya Darang as chief of navy Ibrahim Khan as chief of artillery Siddi Ibrahim as your personal bodyguard In fact out of 150000 cavalry 66000 were Muslims The Maratha army captured many forts and towns but all the women were sent back safe with their honor intact. You treated prisoners of war with respect. You told your followers not to damage any mosques or the Quran or hurt any women. Our country needs you because you understood that to be happy you don't need to belong to one particular religion. Number 4. Dear Chhatrapati, for your entire life you fought for an ideal. You never fought for your personal glory, your personal interests. Your pride and desires always took a back seat. That's why you didn't declare yourself as king immediately after conquering the entire Maharashtra. You did it as a strategic move much later in your life. You were the people's king. You acted in the interest of your people rather than sitting in the highest chambers of your fort. You believed in listening to your people and that's why they called you Zanta Raja. Today's leaders are losing touch with the common people. Our country needs you because today the enemy is not an outsider. It is our own mindset. Our country needs you because we are still using the strategy of the British, divide and conquer. But you taught us that no one of us is as strong as all of us. Today I am confused because every party wants you to be their symbol, but not even a single leader has your qualities. Somebody encourages hatred in the country, somebody sits on a chair because he belongs to a particular family, and somebody is dishonest with their own promises after the elections. In their words they are all shivaji but in their actions they are all aurangzeb on your birthday it's important that you don't remain a story because people tell stories and then they forget them people don't realize that there is a lesson to be learned from these stories i want to spread chhatrapati's message so that he doesn't remain in our textbooks but he is reborn in our daily lives help dear chhatrapati your life of 52 years is just not enough for us we want you to live on Because honestly speaking a great soul like you cannot die a human death you were not a human you were better you were an idea and ideas are bulletproof